वेलकम टू सुब्रमानी सब्सक्राइब बेल आइकन वॉट एवर यू नो ऑल दैट राइट सो आई डोंट नॉर्मली से दैट बट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आई एम क्विकली वॉन्टिंग टू रीच दैट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड मार्क वन थिंग दैट पीपल हैव बीन आस्किंग मी इज शुड वी डू एन एस आई पी इन शेयर्स इन इन डायरेक्ट इक्विटी or should we do sip only in a portfolio now uh, there are so many brokers today who sell uh, sip uh, including the big ones the reputed ones everybody says here is the back testing if you had done sip in hindustan lever hul whatever uh, that uh, over the last uh, 25 years this is what would have happened or last 18 years or last 10 years whatever you can take up any number and you say this is what would have happened true absolutely true but that is what is called um, your uh, confirmation bias that you know that this is going to happen you all it's also called survivorship bias this company has survived for the last 20 years so an averaging would have helped right and you know last 20 years the share price has gone up because lot of people have told you stories of hindustan lever or larson and dubro or hdfc bank or hdfc limited therefore this theory looks very sexy very appealing and therefore you should do it now so let us take an example of which uh, i have been done i have done part of the journey so i may have gone back a little uh, in the time frame so let us say uh, somebody told you that the pandemic is now o- over uh, we are in november 2000 and uh, just to us just a sec uh, in november we are in november 2021 uh the pandemic is over so now the businesses will grow so when businesses grow they will have to borrow money and if they have to borrow money they have to get themselves rated now crystal is got too expensive but there is this company called care uh and therefore you can buy it it's a good buy at 650 rupees you saw all the parameters you like the research uh, you saw the dividend you say well it's a good company so let me buy it 650 rupees uh very good you bought at 650 then it remained there and then after some time the price fell to 640 rupees you said oh this is temporary so you you didn't know what to do but at 630 you bought more uh then it uh, remained steady then it went down to 610 you bought more and then it went up again at to 650 right uh sorry yeah it uh, went to 633 then from there you you bought more then it went down to 6 591 you panicked a little but you said no 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 my research is good so you bought more at 591 then it went to uh, 581 uh, you didn't buy more you waited you said uh, uh, maybe i shouldn't be buying but then it went up again to uh, 620 you are convinced that though now there is trend reversal somebody told you abhi to it can only go up then it went up it went to 636 you said oh god i missed so you bought more then it went to uh, 640 and it remained there for some time and you were very happy with your decision saying okay 650 to 640 is not too bad and i have average now my i have 5000 shares or i have 3000 shares whatever is your number with which you normally deal with so at this stage your averaging worked and uh, you kept on buying and it was a flat flatish kind of market till say january 2022 Uh, so november december january 3 months you have been averaging and your average cost is about 650 or uh, maybe 642 and the price is also around 640 remember you have not yet made money you are not a trader you are an investor so so far so good then the price fell to 610 you said oh this is this is this can happen right 610 is not too bad so you bought some more so now, now your quantity also increased then it fell to 574 you worried a little but you said oh my long term story is intact so you bought more then you fo- saw it fall all the way to 511 now you were a little worried because you were price had fallen from 650 640 650 was the starting point but your average price must have been much uh, slightly lower because you had bought at uh, lower prices but now 500 at 511 you were losing about 130 rupees per share and you had built up a big position by now you had built up say for 4000 uh, shares or 5000 shares or 500 shares whatever depending on your capacity so you didn't know what to do you were worried you were panicking but then again you saw it go up a little bit 545 you said oh this is temporary i don't have to worry then it went to 520 you didn't know what to do 
then again it went to 525 520 and then it went up to 567 and you were relieved you said wow uh, this is the right price so you were averaging remember you're averaging now and now your total quantum of shares have gone up your average cost is still high because 650 is where you started your journey and now your average price is say maybe 600 because you bought a lot more at lower prices then you were convinced that it will it won't go much further down then at 556 you said let me buy more you bought more and then the managing director resigned for whatever reasons the managing director resigned and the price fell to uh, 468 now remember your journey 650 to 468 is 200 bucks gone completely 200 bucks gone out of your price 468 you said uh, i don't know what to do you went back to your research and you said oh this looks still looks good so you bought more and now the price is 411 now tell me what will you do now because it is easy to uh, pick up a story which is 20 years old and say oh this is what if you had done this is what would have happened now i'm not asking you that question of course that question is if care goes up tomorrow or six months later one year later this will be a great story saying oh i average from 650 to 450 and now it is back to 700 and so i'm making a lot of money that's great that's a success story tell me what will you do when the price is 411 will you buy more will you sell Will you, will it happen that uh, in your portfolio the concentration of care is becoming too much? Earlier it was one percent of your portfolio, now it is five percent of your portfolio, or earlier it was five percent of your portfolio and now it is twenty five percent of your portfolio. You don't want to do that. Uh, you don't. You you are worried about all those things, right? You're worried about concentration. You're worried about putting good money after bad money. What happens after some time is the price is three hundred and seventy four, and then you find that there is no the price is not going up at all from three seventy four. Six months eight months and the price has not moved what will you do or even at 411 the price is not moving for a year what will you do because uh, what you are missing out is an opportunity cost somewhere else you could have bought Vedanta you could have bought uh, Tata Steel or maybe you would have bought uh, HDFC Bank and HDFC Bank has then gone up right anything could have happened there could always be other stories there could always be FOMO and you say oh my god Mera, I put uh, 25 lakhs in the share and the share is not moving or you put two and a half lakhs in the share and the share is not moving the absolute amount doesn't matter as a percentage of your portfolio it was 1% of your portfolio or 5% or if it was 5% now it is 25% what will you do that are the other questions you ask so averaging down has its advantages and disadvantages you do not know how the story ends you the story uh, can end in 2022 uh, uh, December at the uh, uh, care at a price of 700 and this whole story can look fantastic uh, averaging down help it can close at 370 and you find that your averaging was stupid you should have uh, done a stop loss Stop loss is easy for a trader to understand because end of the day he has to settle so he does a stop loss and he gets out. Um, an investor decides okay I will not do a, a strict stop loss at 10% or 20% because that will uh, the, the very basis of saying okay it's a good share at 650 makes it a better share at 550 so I will not. However at 500 I will have a very strict stop loss and say okay if I've lost 150 rupees per share that's enough I can't lose more. So at 500 you got out of the whole thing. Then you would be very happy saying, oh, now it is 411, I can buy more because I have at least 100 bucks. You didn't do that, you have kept averaging, now you don't know what to do. So the story ends uh, in say, uh, at 370, you will kick yourself. If the story ends at 730, you say, wow, what a great uh, find it was. So uh, why SIP works in a portfolio is a portfolio will never go to zero right now i'm not talking about care but uh, your uh, reliance power would have gone from 450 to 12 10 rupees so at what stage would have you stopped doing your sip and uh, get got out of it right so you don't know similarly on the way up i i have bought kajaria ceramics a lot from 30 rupees to i think 180 rupees or something i just kept buying uh, because every time I thought uh, it looked good I bought more and uh, same thing I bought uh, I bought many shares like this on the way up I also averaged on the way down I've made money I've lost money everything has happened but there has to be a logic in doing whatever there has to be logic in uh, in trading you have to have a strict stop loss in investing also you should have a strict stop loss there has to be strictness so at 500 uh, you want to keep the stop loss at 450 that's fine but at 450 don't rationalize and say oh i think now there is a fii selling is over so now it is worth buying 
don't rationalize because you have put already put at 650 that is called throwing good money after bad money or uh, sunk cost fallacy that is already done right so i need to do more that doesn't work what doesn't work doesn't work your initial decision of buying at that price was perhaps wrong then you have to ask yourself is the business wrong or is the valuation wrong i think it's a good business like if you had bought uh, brokerage shares at a high price i think it's a good business business will come back but right now if the markets are doing badly maybe you should average or maybe you should say okay i am not averaging but i am not a distressed seller i will wait for the prices to come back so you design Decide on your strategy first, then you can decide whether averaging will work, whether it will not work, how much confidence you have in your research. So the much simpler thing is to avoid this stock SIP and to do a portfolio SIP. What is a portfolio? Index is your portfolio. So take the index, do an averaging. That makes more sense because it takes you, uh, you need not put, apply your brain onto something like this. Ke aaj karun, kal karun. You say 7th of every month it's happening, 25th of every month it's happening, whatever. Choose a date and on that date do it. Or you say, okay, I will choose a date on 7th of every month I will do and on the day when the market falls 5% or 7% or 3% I will do or if the market persistently falls by 1% for 3 4 days and therefore it is, uh, it is so much lower from my average cost I will do any such formula you pick up and then you do but do your SIP in a portfolio not in a single share because not because it will work or not work whether it will work or not work depends on what happens in the future that's very difficult to predict and what happens to your mind during the process that is difficult to handle therefore SIP in stocks is risky a SIP in a portfolio will work thank you Um, one more one more part of that uh, uh, whether SIP will work the market is constantly telling you something which you are ignoring the, uh, the market was telling you that uh, care is a good share at 650 then it was telling you a share is a good share at 550 then it is telling you the share is a good share at 400 right it is giving you information saying at the risk at which it is and at the return at which you are getting the price it deserves is only 400 you cannot argue with the market yes the market will uh, look rational at sometimes look irrational at sometimes all that will happen but controlling your mind and saying no i think the correct valuation of um, care is 700 so at 450 it's more greater value so i will buy more fantastic now the question to answer is can you be liquid because the market can be crazy for a pretty long period of time will you be liquid can you be liquid and uh, are you uh, mindful of the opportunity loss that is happening you have to answer all these questions today not six months later when the price is 700 or eight months later when the price is 330 you don't have to answer it on that day and say if i had done this this would have happened the question is i told you the the, the journey started in october november 2021 now we are in uh, may 2022 you have to take a decision today that is difficult uh, afterwards we can do a story on how uh, it was fantastic averaging care from 650 to 420 and now finding the price at 700 and it was a fantastic journey you don't know how good the journey was uh, much uh, to the uh, problem of uh, investors and traders thank you